Alright guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today in the Ask SSM video series, got an email from a subscriber. I think this guy is probably in his 30s. I believe what I've connected the dots, he's from over in India, but over here in the US of A now. And he's writing in because at this point in his life, he feels lost. He feels lost because he doesn't have any real purpose or goals. And because of that, not a whole lot of motivation to get himself any further than where he is right now in life. And he's writing in asking for my help with that regard. And also how he also feels like he's wasted a big chunk of his life and feels pretty down about that. And I'm going to go through his email here addressing that because there's a lot of guys out there that I know have written me, have a hard time, they, they want to do well, they want to improve their lives, they just don't know where to start, or they feel like they've wasted so much time there's no point, or they can't find the motivation to get off the couch and start making something happen for themselves. But also, guys, you're going to see in this story here, he was raised by a single MOM. Mom and dad divorced, and the mom, probably because she felt bad about the divorce, or he was the only thing she had in her life, spoiled him. Really, she she conditioned him to be very blue-pilled, and he was a very obedient child, did what she wanted, not what he wanted, even though he wanted more. And really, because of that, even though he met his mom was a good person and loved him, he made the right the wrong choices. And so this video is going to go for a lot of guys that are struggling to find their purpose, goals, making something of themselves thinking they've wasted a lot of their lives, as well as really emphasizing, again, why it's so important that young men have that male masculine role model. And I say masculine because there's a lot of young guys that have male role models, but they're as clueless as can be. And and, and I'm gonna you'll see as I go through this story what I'm talking about here. Like I said, I said this countless times. A single mom, if she's a good one, can raise her boy, she can love her boy, she can provide help him be a, a good person and have some success and all that. A lot of good things. But she doesn't know what it's like to be a boy. Boys need that masculine role model to teach them things and who has been there and gets things that the mother can't. Just the same way as a young girl needs her mother, a woman to help guide her and fill in the gaps where the father can't do. You know, it's common sense, but a lot of people hate, hate common sense. And also the fact that, let's be honest here, we, uh, us guys, we all know it. Generally speaking, mothers are much easier on their boys. The girls, because they know the kind of bullshit girls can pull, they're tougher on their daughters. But the boys get easier, while the dad doesn't let the boy get away with bullshit. It was the same thing in my house. My mom was much easier on me than my dad was. And believe me, I had it coming when my, when my dad would lay down the law. So anyhow here, I'm going to go through this. This is a good one for all the young guys out there that are trying to find their place in this world lacking in direction, and doubling down why boys need a male, a good, masculine, male role model. So it starts off, it says here, uh, hello SSM. Thanks for what you're doing. I really enjoy your videos, and they have been very helpful. Anyway, I don't want to take a lot of your time. Mandatory English is not my first language, but I'm trying really hard here to make sense and for this to be an easy read. You did a pretty good job, bro. Uh, this is not a common relationship story that you get every day. I have some of those too, but this is more important. This is a story about how if you don't have a purpose or something to pursue, it can lead you to having most of a miserable life. Yes, definitely, you're, you're missing something. A lot of people don't get that. I'll try to maintain this short. Basically, I came from a divorced parent's home, nothing out of the ordinary. My father cheated my mom and everything ended after that. Of course, I kept living with my mother. Growing up, my mother was very attentive and caring with me. She never bad-mouthed my father in front of me. However, she implied things. My respect for my father just left the chat when I realized that. She just wanted to give me everything she hadn't, but after growing up, I realized she spoiled me. I was a typical dumb mama's boy, and after graduating the equivalent of high school in my country, I was set on working. College was an option that I considered because it was not hard to pay for my, pa my parents. At the end, my mother convinced me to start studying. So you can see here, single mom raised him, she loved him, spoiled him, because he's pretty much all she has. He's her little boy, that's how that works, mamas and boys. And already he's on the path of doing what she wants him to do, not what he wants to do. Now, you always respect your parents and you honor your parents, but when you reach adulthood, you gotta do what's best for you. Now, again, culture plays a big hand in these things because I believe certain cultures that you, you listen to your parents. End of fucking story. And if you don't, you're a pariah. But if you're, you're not going to be happy if you do somebody else's what they want you to do. 
Uh, I hated every single day of college. I was only doing this because my mother wanted me to. I did not like the career and I did not see myself in a future where I worked as that. I even told my mother on several occasions that I hated everything that I just wanted to work. And she would usually guilt trip me into going back into studying. <clears throat> yeah, guilting, guilt trips and manipulations are usually the mother's uh, strong tactics. And you have to be strong enough to get past that. And this is where the father comes in to help the boy, to guide the boy. Now, again, you can see she wants the best from go to school, go to college, get an education. You can understand the, the thinking involved there. He didn't want that. He wanted to work, earn his own money, be his own man because she spoiled him. And, you know, at the end of the day, if that's what he wanted, that's what he should have done. But he was young, didn't have the strength, and I, this is why I, I really talk about these things. He says, <clears throat> I know I'll get demolished in the comments for this. I was not the, the I was not only blue-pilled, but I didn't know anything outside my home. Of course, I had friends. Of course, I went out with them. But all I knew from life was what to do when I'm being told. So, you want to be a respectful, good law-abiding citizen, if you will, but you need to question things, guys. You need to question authority in a respectful way, of course. You need to really have a um, problem-solving, constructive mind and always thinking about things. Why are things the way they are, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. In my opinion, for the longest time, the population through the educational system in the U.S., public school system, which is overwhelmingly shit, has dumbed down the population. you got a bunch of freaking just drones out there just do what they have to do, and they don't really have much problem-solving skills, no critical thinking skills, and I'm sure you, many of my fellow Americans here agree with me on that, and just programmed just to do what everybody else does and be, be you know, like 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 a sheep. But you gotta think for yourself, and you gotta question things, and you know that sets that sets you apart. Those in power want you to be dumbed down and go along with like everybody else, and they benefit from that. He says, I was very frustrated at college because I was broke. I had anything that I paid for. My mother just started paying for everything I needed or wanted all because she didn't want me to working. Everything was horrible during those, day, during those years. I legitimately couldn't feel happy. I had good times, but I wasn't happy at all. If, you, if you've been thinking before of finding someone that pays all of your shit for you, let, uh, let me tell you, that's not the life of a man. That shit destroys your mind and self-esteem. So what he's saying is it didn't feel right that his mom was paying for everything. He didn't feel like a man because he wasn't taking care of himself. This to the beginning of time when men were we were living in fucking caves. The man would go out with his freaking spear and go hunting with the other men. That was him like him going to the job and bringing back the kill to provide for his mate and his children. It doesn't feel natural, as you can see here, for him that everything's provided to him by his mama. And yeah, I agree. Now, that's nice that she was helping him, and a lot of people wouldn't have anybody to help them. So I can get where some people would say, boo-hoo, jackass. But I get it. This is why man has to forge his own path and, and do some things. The balance would have been, you go to school, but also you work some of the time that you can bring and have your own spending money. But I've known guys that I had a friend growing up who was very spoiled by his parents, and they went working. They paid for everything, and he was a spoiled brat. And just, I stopped talking to him when I was about 20 years old, 20, 21. I can't imagine what his life is like now, but they thought they were doing the right thing, handing everything to him, and it made it worse. Uh, more Moving forward some years, I had to move out of my house. I came from a country that is normal that you live with your parents until you marry. I think that's India. And I decided not to only leave my house, but my, my, to leave my entire continent. And in the few years I've been living on my own, I felt like a grown-up. Friends, friends here say I look and act like a man now, and I still think I have a long way to go. Well, good for you for finally saying that's it. I gotta make a change. He moved out of his house, which he says not customary. Moved to another country. Maybe he's here. I think, and he's taking care of himself. And I'm sure your mom didn't like you doing that, but you had to do his best for you as a man. So that's good. But you see. This is where, if he had a male role model when he was younger, it would probably he probably would have done things more on his path earlier on. But a man has to forge his own path, and that's very good, man. You should be proud of yourself. Uh, getting into the point, this is the main issue at the moment. Even though I feel like I've grown up and I, I'm moving towards a better place in my life, I still feel horrible that I wasted my life like that. Even right now, I'm working a normal IT job, and I'm also working on a side personal project that's making a bit of money. I still feel horrible and inadequate. 
wasting a life is not something that easy easy to handle. I know I said a lot of bad things about my mother. She meant me no harm. Uh, with anything she made, the main culprit of this is me, who allowed everything. So I'm the, I'm the one that carries the guilt. My mother, I guess, she's happy that she had her small baby for about 20 plus years. Yeah, don't blame your mom. She was doing what a lot of mothers do. And she thought she was doing the right thing, you know. I mean, maybe you were kind of like the son husband to her a little bit. I don't know. But, you know. But, uh, yeah, you now have, are forging your path. and But you didn't waste your life. A lot of guys think they've wasted their life because they're doing this, this, and this. You're not, your life isn't over until you're six feet under or you're a pile of ashes after being cremated. You still have time. So if the first 20 years of your life where your mom, you know, handled everything for you and spoiled you and all that, and, and keep in mind you were a kid and a teenager and all that, if that took you to get where you are now where you left your country, which takes a lot of balls, and you're forging your own path, then so be it. It's not a waste. A lot of bad experiences help make us who we are. Believe me, I've had setbacks in life and made mistakes, just like all of you guys, and I've always done my best to learn from them, you know? I love to go back in time and not do those dumbass things, but it, at the end of the day, helped me get where I am. And let me tell you, gentlemen, I am very happy where my life is today. He says, even though I'm making, I'm making a bit of progress, I still feel really shitty about my life in general. So I did what you never recommended. I started smoking that one famous herb, and that led me to bad places. I became lazy and depressed. Getting out of bed in the morning, it's like fighting Conor McGregor with both my hands tied. Get off the fucking drugs, dude. It doesn't help you. I could only focus on what was my life before. I'm not saying this is because the devil's lettuce. It's because you cannot do drugs if you don't have your shit together. This could have been alcohol or any other drug. I just don't judge anyone, but be responsible first. I feel like my life is on a pause. I haven't found a purpose yet. Now we're getting to the purpose thing. I do not know what I'm good for. I, I am bad at school, at sports, at music and video games. I was that kid that everyone said he's above average, he's a genius. However, I've always had bad grades, even when trying my hardest. My motor skills not the best, and it's really hard for me to focus. By that description, you're probably pitching the cliche nerd from the 1980s movies. I'm not bad looking at all, and this is what saddens me. I do not have many friends. I haven't had a girlfriend, someone, someone to booty call, or even hook up with for about eight years. The drive is not there anymore for me, at least for now. I feel like meeting people is a chore. It was not that shitty before. I do not want my life to continue like this. Well, brother, I can help you to move on to a different path. And I think a lot of it is just you're depressed and feeling like maybe you're having like a quarter life crisis or something or a, or a one third life crisis. And uh, don't worry, I can help you out here. But uh, everybody has setbacks. I know I'll find my purpose. I know I'll keep pushing even if I feel like crumbling because that's my only option. I'm by myself on a different side of the world. And he says, uh, but at the moment, what can you say to someone who's completely lost? I sometimes feel grateful that I haven't lived those stories like the other men send you. But at the same time, I don't think I have someone that can lead me or be an example for me. I don't think it's late for me, but I really needed videos like yours 10 years ago. Don't ever stop. You're doing God's work. About a dollar for every time somebody said, I wish I had your videos 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I'd be fucking rich. He says, also, and guys, I have to tell you something. At home, if SSM reads this, is that video games, women, hell, even drugs, which I do not recommend, will still be there. Build your character, find what drives you, and follow that, even if it's painful or hard. That's better than being frustrated over wasting a life. I know I deserve all the shit comments that you want to say to me. Hell, I'd appreciate the tough love. So... I'm now going to get into a number of things I can recommend to this guy or any other guy in a situation who's thinking this way, feeling this way, to help him get back on track. Because we all, at some point, can get off track, and uh, believe me, you can get back on track. All right, so the first thing, bro, what I want you to do is to relax. Breathe, okay? Just kick back, take it easy for a second. Your life is not over, all right? There are a lot of guys out there that think and feel the same way. They wasted their life, blah, blah, blah. No. There you you have still plenty of life to live before you're in the ground. Until you're six feet under or you're a pile of ashes being cremated, that's when it's over. You got time. And again, like I said earlier, experiences early in life shape us for who we're gonna be. Okay, fine. You didn't live the life you wanted early on. You listened to your mama, did all that. Fine, shit happens. It's in the past. I'm gonna be Say that your mom probably didn't do this to be uh, a pain in the ass or difficult. Just that's what she thought was the best way to do things. That's probably what her mother did and all the other mothers do. 
But you're at the stage in your life, you left your country, you're on your own doing your own thing, forging your own path. That takes balls to leave your country, so good for you. So relax. It's going to be okay. Now, first things first, I want you, now that you've relaxed, it's time to get off the damn drugs, whatever that may be. Get that shit out of your goddamn house. Get all the drugs, alcohol, junk food, all that stuff is just going to make you feel like crap. And many people may, people go to the junk food and the drugs and the alcohol to make themselves be, feel better temporarily and they're conditioned to do so, do so. That only makes it worse. Get all that garbage out of your house pronto and start eating clean, healthy, all that, even if it's difficult. Next thing I want you to do is start exercising if you don't do already. Probably not. Join a gym. If you don't have that in your budget, join a cheap gym. Planet Fitness, 10 bucks a month, 15, whatever the hell it is nowadays. You can get the basic equipment, treadmills, bikes, ellipticals, weights. I want you in a gym three times a week or exercising, riding a bike or something moving three times a week. Exercise, aside from making your body feel better, you will feel better after a workout. 10 minutes into a workout, you're going to feel better. And by doing that, you're feeling good. You'll be in a more resourceful state of mind. And whatever problems you have will suddenly become minimized. Every time I've had, I've had stressful days, guys, just like you. And I start working out when I would go to martial arts back in the day or lifting weights or whatever. I'm feeling better 10 minutes into it. And all of a sudden, those problems minimize dramatically. You, I think, are depressed. Maybe you're having a quarter life or a one third life crisis, and this will help you stop eating garbage, consuming garbage. I mean, you can things you can always count on most people. They're going to consume garbage and uh, spend live beyond their means. Stop consuming garbage and get exercise. You will feel better, and that will help you on the path towards figuring things out and turning things around. Next thing is start going out and socializing. You say you don't have a whole lot of friends, no girlfriend, all that. Well, again, I think you're depressed. Go out and start talking to people. Okay. If you had enough to get over here in this country, you have enough to socialize. I don't care where you are, chat people up. Whether you're in line at the grocery store or the CVS or at the bank, anywhere, just just look at people, smile, say hello, strike up conversations. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. I think it would be a very good idea to join some kind of class or something like, for instance, martial arts or boxing or something where you're involved with other people regularly. You can chat people up, get to know people. You know, when I joined martial arts, it was 10 years ago almost I, I started in martial arts. And I did it for a lot of reasons, but one to meet new people in my town. And I made a rule in the first month, I would talk to new two new people every single day, every single class. And I would always ask the same two questions. Uh, what got you started here in this martial arts and how long you've been going here? And since people love to talk about themselves, it was like, and I got to know two new people. And then every day, more people. By the end of the month, I was very well acquainted with people. That's the point. Join something, some kind of club or anything that you go to regularly a couple times a week and get to know people. You'll feel a lot better. Unless you are an absolute introvert, antisocial, can't stand people, which given today's world can't blame you, I would do that, okay? And you'll feel a lot better. And combining that with talking to people and rebuilding your social skills and you're no longer consuming garbage and you're exercising, you're feeling a lot better. And this is where you can start fixing shit. Uh, I would start brainstorming what you want out of life. What are your big goals? And then figuring out what they are. Then you can figure out your purpose, your main goals. A man without a purpose is a a man just wandering aimlessly in the world. Okay? A lot of people just are... Most people in this world don't live. They exist. And that's about it. But when you have goals and something you're working towards, you got a reason to get up every day and get out of bed. As opposed to just some job you hate to pay the bills and barely break even, you know? And figure out what those goals may be, what what you want to achieve for yourself in life. Do you want to travel the world? Okay, start figuring that out. Do you want to start a business one day? Figure out how you're going to do that. Do you want to get in great shape? Figure out how you're going to do that. All these goals you may have, figure that out. And then set a realistic time frame of where you're going to achieve those goals and figure out little steps every day that you can take to get to those goals. You're not going to have a fantastic physique if you're overweight overnight. It could take years, but you figure out the path of eating well, going to the gym, this, this, and this to get yourself on that path. Whether it be like getting a great body, starting a business, moving up in your company, whatever those goals are, figure them out. Take the time to do that. And when you're feeling good about yourself and your body's feeling good because you're not consuming garbage or doing drugs or alcohol and you're exercising and you're happy because you have friends and you're socializing, you're going to be a better place to do that. And last but not least, then execute the plan. Whatever that plan may be, start doing that. And every day, even if you don't have a whole lot of time towards your goal, whatever that purpose is, 
Even if it's 15 minutes every day you're dedicating towards that goal and purpose, you're doing it. Right now, I'm in preparation for moving to Florida. So every day I do a little something to help myself along that path. You know, it's either going through some stuff because I got a lot of stuff I've accumulated over time, going through stuff what I want to throw out or donate or keep. Every day I'm doing something, 15 minutes. Right now my purpose is getting out of Massachusetts down to Florida. So every day I'm doing something to get me along that way. And this is a short-term goal. My YouTube channel, my long I have my long-term goals here. So every day I'm cranking out videos on this channel, on the They Did What channel, on the SSM Clips channel, other things I have going on behind the scenes. Every day I'm doing something for my grandest goal. And that's the point. That gets you out of bed every morning to making things happen for yourself. And when you see that you're starting to make progress, whatever goal that may be, you're going to feel good. You know, it's going to take a while to get to your grandest goal, but when you have that vision in your head, what you want to see, what you want to achieve, you'll get there and you'll feel good that every day I'm getting closer and closer and closer to my grandest goal. And one day when you reach that grand goal and you're at the top of the mountain peak and you're happy and you're thinking, this is awesome, I achieved my goal, then you're going to say, okay, now I have a new goal. I want to climb the next mountain over there. That's the point. Success will just breed more success, but also failure will breed more failure if you just let yourself do that. So that's my advice to you. It ain't over. Don't dwell on the past. You can't change the fucking past. And use the, the mistakes you made in the past to learn from and grow stronger. And that's it. Guys, I know a lot of you guys have not grew up without fathers or role models and you feel like you're not getting anywhere and things are aimless. You can turn things around, but you have to want it. You ha no one's going to do it for you. I'm telling you that right now. And nobody is deserving of this or deserving of that. I don't like that mentality. You need to make shit happen for yourself by working hard, but also working smart and consistently going against the herd because most people exist in this world. They don't live. They exist and negativity and pessimism and naysayers and all that, fuck them. Make something happen for yourself and you can. It will take time. You'll have roadblocks and hurdles, but you can do that. Be different than the masses. And if you're watching this channel and other channels like this, then you are different. You can get there. Believe me. It just takes time. So brother who wrote this in, you're going to be okay. Don't waste your time dwelling on the past. Start making these changes today. Not tomorrow. Not after breakfast. Right now. And you will feel better. You'll feel better just that you're starting to make progress. They just watch this video, you're on your path. So, bro, you can do it. And again, to all you guys out there that are lost and aimless, today is the day that changes the rest of your life. Go for it. Life is short. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Then what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.